Hi, my name is Dan Forsman. I'm a product manager for H&I, and I've been in product development for the last 10 to 11 years here with H&I. This is our ninth year hosting our eWeek Design Challenge. Um, it is a great opportunity for us to celebrate our engineers here within H&I, as well as do a little bit of community outreach and reach out to our local school districts and invite some uh, students in to compete alongside our engineers here in the challenge. It's a great opportunity for us to kind of reward our engineers and honor them uh, for the great work they do throughout the course of the year, as well as the outreach part. Um, really, the purpose of eWeek is to bring awareness to those STEM-related uh, fields, and obviously at H&I Engineering, is a really big one for us um, with both our product design as well as our manufacturing design engineers. So it's a great way for us to get together as a community, um, have some fun and celebrate, work through some fun and interesting design challenges, um, and we're really glad to host this event every year. So basically, it's a levitating table. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but it's that with a little bit extra support and just the strings and everything. We figured out that the strings need a lot of tension in order to hold correctly and in order for the table to stand up correctly. Right now we are working on our table. Um, it can't be supported by any rigid uh, structure and so we're holding it up with fishing line. Uh, the plate on in the middle will compress and then once the weight is taken off of it, it'll re Come back up. So for our design, we are we have strings on all four corners to like have the like, strength of the table, and so we'll have these. Uh, what are they called again? Skewers, um, diagonally from the bottom and from the top going down, and then up, and we'll have a string in the middle that'll be tied to both. That'll be like up and down. And that string will be like pulling on these to hold it up, basically. The challenge we've been given is to build a table that um, can hold weights on top of it. And the, we were given a bunch of parameters and stuff with one of them. And about halfway through it, we were given the parameter that the table top cannot be, um, cannot be held up by anything rigid, which means anything that can compress. Uh, um, for what we we're doing, looks a little something like that. It's a little bit more difficult than we thought just because we got to tie knots and stuff like that to be cost efficient because the big point of this is the how you win is you get the most amount of weight with the least amount of cost. So they have an equation for the scoring system where it's your um, cost over your weight.